Welcome to Yoga Chakras and Heal, an interactive healing session to help to cleanse and clear your chakras. If you've never done this before, let me explain to you what it is. Your chakras are these different energy spinning systems inside of your body. Now we have many of them, but we're only going to focus on seven. And if you could visually see them, it would, it would seem like there were these little swirling circles going through the root of the body all the way to the crown of the spine. And when these different energy circles or centers become off, we have differences inside of the body and the mind. And because of the clutter, then sickness and disease can set up. So it's best to rid all of these centers of the things that should not be there. Now these things come from either thoughts or feelings or actions or past hurts or harm. So things that we just need to process, breathe through and release. See you at the end. Doing this body scan through your head of your body breath exhale release and again deep breath Just for a moment, closing the eyes, relaxing the lips, softening the muscles in the face, releasing the shoulders. Sitting the spine upright. Resting the thighs and the glutes. And softening the feet where they are. Starting to take a, a full, complete inhale through your nose, letting your, your belly, your chest lift and expand, and each of your exhales releasing. Next breath, bring it in. Exhale, let it go. Exhale, let it go. Now this final two, hold it for a count of five, four, three, two, let it go. Last one, deep breath in. Five, four, three, two. And now you decide whether you slowly start to open your eyes or you listen to this book with the eyes sealed, staying in this calm state. So today we're talking about our chakras. And even though there are many 
myths and conversations about how many we actually have in the body. Today we're focusing only on the seven. What our chakras do for us is they control these different levels of energy, these fields inside of our bodies from the tailbone all the way up to the crown of our head. And when these energy centers are blocked, it can stop us from being productive. And it even halts those organs or the production of those organs or what can happen in there. And hence, when the energy is blocked, then disease, it, it sits in. But because I don't think that we understand that, and we, you know, we'll just make the comparison, it's, it's my heart, or it's the high blood pressure, or it's the salty foods. And not really correlating that with maybe a sickness or an ailment or a, an anger issue that's held stagnant right there in the center. So if you can imagine just these, these spinning vortex wheels of energy is what they are. I don't know, in my head I see like little tornadoes. But you want them all to go in this clockwise direction. So that the proper numbers of a clock. And sometimes they don't, sometimes they completely stand still. And other times they go in the opposite direction. So we don't want that to happen. We just want a, a full, complete, open chakra. So giving yourself a moment now, coming back to your breath from wherever you are, finding your stillness, closing your eyes and then your lips. and bringing in your breath.